Theme park attractions are a place of pleasure for many and attract visitors from around the globe for the thrill and adrenaline of their rides. But tonight we find ourselves investigating the darker side of this entertainment. We enter this world knowing only life, yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tonight we have travelled to Blackpool, to an attraction situated on the grounds of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which locals believe is one of the most haunted locations in the world. <laughs> Hello and welcome. The location that we've been asked to investigate tonight has been purpose-built to scare the living daylights out of you. This is the Horror Crypt in Blackpool, and this is Ghost Dimension. The crypt is made up of some very frightening horror movie characters, such as Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Dracula, and many more. And if that isn't enough to set your nerves on edge, it would also appear that it has a ghost or two as part of the cast. When the current owner took on the site, he would spend many nights here working alone and often felt like someone else was here with him. After a while, he had to turn on the music and sound effects just to help him feel a little less nervous. We have a display based on the film The Exorcist and we had like a video screen showing like real life exorcisms and like audio recordings of uh, things like Annalise Michelle, the German girl who was apparently possessed. Uh, so one day as I went up there this kind of recording of this girl screaming and shouting was playing and then suddenly it cut out and then came back on again and cut out again. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. So I went in to have a look. Uh, as I approached it, the actual TV monitor itself kind of sparked and obviously jumped back a little bit. Uh, as I went to investigate and to unplug it, the, uh, we had a crucifix hung on the wall that actually just fell off and hit the floor. So that was a point when I was like, nah, I'm not putting that video back on. <laughs> that, can, that can stay off for the time being. Uh, we've not replaced it since just because, yeah, it kind of gave the whole place a bit of a, too much of a bad aura, really. <laughs> We have a strict rule here, which is like there's no live actors. So that's one thing that sets us apart. We don't have people chasing you in masks and stuff. We have um, animatronics and like waxworks and things like that. Uh, but we've had a few people who've come out. They've got in initially apprehensive, saying, "No, there's definitely no live actors. No one's going to jump out at me. No one's going to touch me." We've said, "No, no, no, not that kind of thing," you know. So they go in. Everything's like fine. And then next thing I know, they come out. I'm like, oh, "Did you have a good time?" And they're like, "No, oh, no, you lied to me." Oh. You said no one will touch me and there's a guy come up and touch the back of my head or oh someone, yeah. So I moved out the, uh, the, the side corner and scared my daughter or whatever. Check the cameras to make sure there's no other guests like hiding inside to scare people and we've not found anyone so I don't know, is it people getting over excited? Is, it, is there something to it? I'm not sure but they did look pretty scared when they come out, that's one thing for sure. <laughs> The place is filled with mannequins, which for anyone who has a vivid imagination is going to play havoc with your senses. Do you want to play a game? 
There have been reports of an intense feeling of being watched, which given who surrounds you, it's hardly surprising. When I was creating the Texas Chainsaw Massacre set, and it was the early hours of the morning, in which case the, uh, the fire door opened up on its own in the uh, middle of the night. Obviously, I got a bit spooky, uh, spooked about it, walked around the place and had to go and check everything, so that was a bit, uh, bit tense. The customers always believe when they look on the cameras outside, when they see the friends walking through, that they see orbs uh, around the place, but we generally believe that's just dust. There is always kind of like a, a presence, if you will. You can always kind of feel like there is someone just around the corner. <laughs> Obviously, we kind of like that for the business. It kind of saves us money on uh, special effects and stuff, but yeah, it's not nice when you're by yourself. <laughs> it's not nice when you're by yourself, yourself, yourself. There appears to be something else lurking inside the horror crypt other than just the waxwork models, but what would Devante believe could be the cause of the activity here? So one thing that needs to be noted about this attraction is that it's located right next to the Pleasure Beach. Now, of course, the Pleasure Beach has many roller coasters running through it. A lot of the screams that are coming off people from the rides could be misheard as screams or, you know, whispers coming through here. It, it's still a good enough distance to misconstrue the actual sound. Also, you've got the roller coaster themselves. When they're doing the big dips and dropping down, they make a literally a whoosh effect. That effect, as I even heard before when we were stood downstairs, could be misconstrued as a howl or a moan or something along those lines. It could be something paranormal, but I'm more inclined to believe the fact that the Pleasure Beach is literally a stone's throw away. The EMS in this building, I believe, will go off. However, the reasons being for them actually going off is more due to the fact that there are electrical, there are electrical pieces of art throughout the whole of the building. Also, there are many sensors which are designed to trigger something off. Now, with that being said, EMF also has been known to mess with people's minds. So, whether or not they're actually seeing something that's paranormal or they're just seeing something that you know the electricity is actually just playing effect, it is a known fact. I don't know. You know, only, only time can tell and the stories from people hearing how reliable they actually are and whether it actually makes sense is the only way to understand. So tonight we face our fears in a place that is designed to scare people on a daily basis. But this is night time and we're all alone apart from an all-star cast of horror characters and possibly a ghost or two. Let's hope we make the final cut. Tonight we are in the seaside town of Blackpool, famous for fortune telling and amusements. But will our luck run out as we investigate one of the town's most haunted locations, the horror crypt? So we are on the top floor of the uh, horror crypt. Yes, it's, uh, it's spooky. We're with a star studded cast, as you can see. And inside this room, we've put a, um, we, we have actually put a REM pod down there, uh, down this corridor, which we'll show you in a sec, but in here, we've got a um, proximity sensor on the yes, board. Yes, we have indeed. Do you want me to do that? Yeah. And that's right next to the, uh, the exorcist. Uh, now, there's been reports in here about activity. Can you imagine if the cross moved and the cross spun? That would be strange, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, that would be it. That would, I think that would make me run, run that, out. Is that switched on? Was that on a minute ago? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that is. That is on, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so shall I also have um, a singing bowl here? And Sean, <clears throat> Sean has the dows and rods. <clears throat> We've got those because... We want to try some experiments in a minute. Yeah. Obviously, even by the sea, you know, with the uh, dazzling you, you never know. Will they just point towards the ocean or will they point to somewhere else? Exactly. If that's what they're supposed to do. Or will it just be nonsense? We don't know, but we're going to find out. We like to test new equipment out. I mean, we, we tend to use a lot of the same equipment, so we want to test it up, mix it up, 
for you guys at home. Uh, we also have a REM pod on the floor. Yes. We're Freddy here. Hi. <laughs> REM pod, we're getting lost left, right, and centre. Uh, REM pod, which stands in there with Freddy. Jeez. It and looks um, rather different in green screen. It does look different in green screen. It's a little bit frightening from this angle. Now, if that door, I mean, it's all switched off that. It's all switched off, yeah. If that opens, that's going to be freaky. No. So, the horror. Okay, that just beeped. Not quite started yet. The uh, horror crypt. Hello, Mum. Uh, the horror crypt in Blackpool. Quite a, a maze of corridors and creepy characters. And equipment. So, we have the REM just over here, which was going off a few minutes ago. We have an electroscope just there, and a couple of REMs around here, one there and one on the stairs. So, let's see what's going on. Lots of different reports of uh, voices and Oh, cute. If you can see that on night vision. Yes, you can. Is anybody here? Is there anybody that worked in this building at any point or worked on the, the Pleasure Beach? You know what it felt like then? It felt like somebody was touching my hair. It felt like somebody was pulling it like this. The back of your hair? Yeah, I felt like somebody's pulling it. That's weird. Is anybody here with us now? Can you come forward? Can you communicate with us? Tell us who you are? Did you hear that? Sounded like a, like a child, like... And you weren't, you, you weren't touching the gate? Well, let's see, because I heard something. Oh. But again? Again? Do you hear it again? Bex could feel and sense something touching her hair. And when I asked for the spirit to come forward and communicate, we caught the following screeching sound. Is anybody here with us now? Can you come forward? Can you communicate with us? Tell us who you are. Did you hear that? Sounded like a, like a child, like... Communicate with us. Tell us who you are. Did you hear that? Communicate with us. Tell us who you are. Did you hear that? Had we just made first contact with whoever or whatever was haunting the horror crypt? And if so, what more are we about to encounter? Hello? Is there anybody there that wants to communicate? Did you hear it again? That was a voice. That was a man's voice? So, yes. Yeah? Yes. Can you tell us who you are? Can you come forward and communicate more towards one of the devices we've got around here? Can you let me know if you're here? There we go, radar with me. I haven't used this for a while. Which one did we Nope, it's not that one. Damn! One of the rounds was going off, then it wasn't that one. I think it was the one on the stairs. Can you do that again for me, please? If there's anybody here, can you come towards my hand? Towards the device I have? So uh, the ghost radar does not pick up the electrical, magnetic, radio, any other frequencies. It's designed to pick up anomalous energy. So it won't pick up mine, it won't pick up any of the, the usual bits and pieces. But it will uh, hopefully detect something that shouldn't be here. Is anybody here that's male that's trying to communicate with us. Can you give us a sign? There's lots of things. What was that? Was that that? 
No, did you hear that? Like a metal. Yeah. Something that got thrown. That sounds like it's there by that um, exorcist one. Are you here in the exorcist room? Can you open one of the, the gates, make it move? Did you hear that? That was a moan. <laughs> After hearing a noise coming from the exorcist scene, we approached the attraction and then heard and caught the following sound, which we believed was a disembodied moan. Did you hear that? That was a moan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Could this be connected to the disturbance Kurt had mentioned earlier? So one day, as I went up there, this kind of recording of this girl screaming and shouting was playing, and then suddenly it cut out, and then came back on again, and cut out again. If it was connected, what more would this spirit be able to achieve? I'm going to do the singing bowl. And now the singing bowl changes the atmosphere. The vibration of this changes it. Therefore helping spirit communicate with us better. That was a whistle. That's the way. That was before we even got this on. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I did, I heard that again. That was a man's whistle. Is there... Can you copy me? That's coming from inside here. Open this gate, let's go in. Let's do the experiment inside here. Let me take this camera with me. In there. I'm just going to put this on the Putting that towards the door. Yeah. I'm just going to do this here. Oh, I can't see. Okay. Right, are we ready? Yeah, I'm going to swoop you around while you're doing it to see if okay. anything happens. Yeah. Is there any spirits here that want to communicate who made the whistle a moment ago? Can you come in visitation to us or can you join us and give us a sign? Set the meters we've brought with us off. Communicate with us. Clowns. Please. Oh, down, down, down. Thank you. Is this one around here somewhere? Can you do that again? I missed it. Could you please... Okay, that wasn't me. It wasn't close enough. Thank you. Can you step away from it, please? I walked past that a moment ago and I didn't set it off and I wasn't close enough that time. Can you do that again, please, or set... There you go. Definitely not close enough that time. Thank you. Can you step away from it now, please? Thank you. Who are you? You seem to have the gist of how that works now. Can you set that off for me again, please? It was clear Paul was not alone, and something was interacting with the REM pods. And when he asked the entity to alarm the device again, he actually caught the following response on audio, which appears to say, Yes, sir. Can you set that off for me again, please? Can you set that off for me again, please? Can you set that off for me again, please? Amazingly, following the entity's response of yes sir, it actually appears to follow through with its decision and Paul's request to set off the REM pod alarm. Are you a female? 
Can you set it off again, please, for me? Oh, look at that. Thank you ever so much. Spot on. Thank you. Now step away from it again, please. Thank you. That's amazing. Can you come to what? Thank you. That's really good. Can you step towards this device that I've got in my hand? Thank you. Excellent. Don't be afraid of it. Step away from the one on the floor and come a little bit closer to me. Thank you. There you go. See, it's not harming you. It's just going to let me know that you're here if you can come closer. Our investigation of the horror crypt was so far not disappointing, and it was apparent that we are all in direct contact with whoever or whatever was haunting here. But can we entice them to make even further contact and reveal their true identity? Got an idea, Bex. You stay in here. Yeah. I go next door, and we ask it to, to come towards us and do something to one of us, okay? Okay, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so Sean's gone uh, next door and we're going to both oh. call out. Are you making that tapping noise already? No, I thought that was you. No, I thought that was you. No, no, I'm just speaking to this camera to reiterate what we're doing. It was tap, 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 I heard tap, 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 I just thought it was you going in the cell. No, it was a tap, tap, I'm going to shut the door again. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. No, it wasn't that. Can you tap again if that was you? You hear that? I didn't hear anything this side. Can you do it in my my cell? Can you tap in my cell? Oh, oh, oh! What? Round here. What is it now? Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. By the dolls. By these two dolls. Tap, 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 tap. So that one keeps responding really well. We've had some close proximity on the ghost radar and there's another one beeping. I'm just going to go around the corner to the other one and see if it's that one. Oh, God damn it, that one's going off again. I'm just wondering if that one is the one that keeps beeping. So I'll keep an eye on it for a second to somebody in this area as well. Oh, the one around the corner's going crazy now. Typical that I'm not there at the moment. There we go. Thank you. What the hell was that? This area just lit up. And now that I have got the goosebumps. And oh, that's going absolutely bonkers. Thank you so much. It's gone really weird here. Really weird. Just everything stood up on end. So, I'm locked in. Are you going back in there? Yeah, I just thought I heard something then down. I'm going to stand near the tapping. I'm going to stand near the dolls and the tapping, see if they move. <laughs> now, did you hear that? I did something then. That was a whistle, that was a clear whistle beside me. Once again, one of the entities lurking around us has made contact vocally and whistled. I'm going to stand near the dolls and the tap and see if they move. Now, did you hear that? It appears as we delve even deeper into the horror crypt, the activity is ever increasing in strength. Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're in there. Put another rem out there. Just on the side, so if anything starts to follow us. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll capture it, yeah? Is there anybody here? Anybody want to come and talk to us? Anybody at all? We're not here to harm you. We're here to communicate to you. We're paranormal investigators that just want to seek out the truth. Come round here and set this one off now. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going I'm to walk away from here. That one will go off. Let's see if... Look at that, just starting to walk. Thank you. We are going crazy now, aren't we? Jeepers. Thank you, you're doing an absolutely brilliant job. Thank you so much. I'm going to throw a name out there. And it's one that uh, I know is associated with the Pleasure Beach. Oh, I don't know if you might venture this far over, but is this Cloggy? Cloggy, are you actually moving around the Pleasure Beach and coming here? Some response. That singing bowl in there looks like that baby's about to have his dinner. <laughs> After the singing bowl. <laughs> yeah, it does. Let me just take these. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to try yeah, the same thing. Yeah, I want to see if the spirit that we're communicating with maybe can come forward and point us where it is. Okay, if there's any spirits here, anybody wanting to communicate with us, I'm going to ask you to maybe point these to the direction you want me to go, cross them when I meet. Are you here? Can you come forward and make these move? Make them move. say that was crossed. I think that is, yeah. That is crossed. Yeah. Are we here where you are? Are you attached to one of these items? Cross cross them again if you're attached to one of these items. Do you hear that whistle? Miss. Whistle, whistle. I heard that one. Look. That's definitely, definitely crossed. Yeah? Okay. Maybe it's one of these okay. dolls in here. Maybe it's that doll up there because the hair, I'm sure the hair moved and not... Where? Up there, that, that doll. Which doll is it? Is it this? That brown haired one? Yeah. Is it gone to no, that? Did you hear that? Tap, tap, tap. On the roof? Yeah, that's what I've been hearing, but it's been coming next to this doll. I'm just going to take that camera so we put the audio up. It's like a noise on the roof, isn't mm -hmm. it? Do you hear that? I heard that. It's bang, 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 bang. Ghost Dimension. The investigation of the horror crypt was not disappointing, and we appeared to be in constant contact with the entities haunting here. But who are we in contact with? And would we finally uncover the truth behind the activity here? As we attempt to communicate even further with the spirits in the attraction, 
we reposition ourselves into new areas and summon the entities to our investigation. <laughs> Way. You throw it, you roll it. I swear that we walk away, I'm rolling. Okay, you night, Night. Wow. <laughs> so that's weird. I mean, that, is that being is that is that getting affected by that? Shall we move it and check? Yeah, move it. We're just setting up the uh, equipment down. Yeah, we're yeah. just setting up the equipment and then it just starts going off uh, randomly. So we're just going to move it and see if we can um, get any more results from it, basically. And blunt. Yeah, you still roll it. Yeah, right. no, on it. No, 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 no. It. this is definitely to do. How weird's that? Look, the light is staying on right. at the same time as that. Yeah. Something, it's an electricity yeah. thing, isn't it? Let's put it on the middle of this floor. Current. Oh, the light's not on. Let's just keep adding. Well, speed. I think it was something to do the with light. the light. Yeah. yeah. Okay, debunked. Um, so we've got two REM pods. <laughs> we were just doing a. We've got another a... REM pod around the corner. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's unusually weird, isn't it? Is somebody here with us right now? Can you... I heard a voice then. Yeah. As Bex asked the spirit to identify that they had just joined us, we caught the following audio, which at the time we believed to be female. However, the spirit identifies its name as Cloggy. Is somebody here with us right now? Can you... I heard a voice then. Yeah. Is somebody here with us right now? Can you... Is somebody here with us right now? Can you... Inside of Blackpool Pleasure Beach is a ride known as the Ghost Train, which is believed to be famously haunted by the ghost of a former ride operator known as Cloggy, whose spirit has been reported to wander the ride and park. Had we sparked Cloggy's interest while we investigated the horror crypt? And if so, perhaps he was the one causing all of the activity here. You know, crazy demonic girl. Let me know you're in there. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to step in for a moment. Okay, loud bang just down there then. There's somebody here. Yeah, you can see Michael Myers through there. It's not the kind of fella you want peering through your door. Come on, let me know you're here. Do something. This is the uh, scene of the exorcist. I'm Father Brandt of the Roman Catholic Church. I command you to leave that girl. In nomine Padre, et file, et Spiritus Sancte. Amen. Can we give me a sign that you're here? Come here. Something's here. Jeez. The thing about this place is it's so disappointing. But at the same time, it's freaky. What's happening? Right you're standing. You hear somebody singing? No. You seriously didn't hear that? Right where there. you're standing, there was noises coming from there, behind you. Did you hear it? Yeah. On that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
That's weird. Isn't it? That's why I came down here, cos... Bizarre. Is anything down there? Is there anybody here with us? Can you come and speak to myself and Bex? If that was you that was affecting the meters just earlier, come and do something more for us. We're paranormal investigators. We're here to seek out the truth. To see if you really do. What the? Oh my god, did you hear that? That was freaky. That was in here. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh my god. Okay. And that's just literally set that rem off. Right there. What the hell is going on? Whistle. I heard that. Like a, like a echoey whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear that? It's happening again. Yeah. Somebody's here. It's not a question, that's a statement. I know somebody's here. And I think you're playing with me. And it's really good what you're doing. That's the first time it's spoken. Observe. Oh, do you know, it's creepy. You've got the word observe on there. And then she is just staring straight at you. Observe what? Am I being watched? Is that what you're saying? I'm being observed? Tell me what you're trying to say. It's the only foe. Well, that's not good. So observe and foe. That isn't uh, too good at all. Can you identify who you are? What connection have you got? Are you from the Pleasure Beach? From the Ghost Train? Crossed you made over. It crossed over? It's just come to me. Footsteps. Can't what, move it in this. It was cloggy at the Pleasure Beach. Could it be cloggy? Yeah. Can you do that again, Alex? Give us a sign, an indication that we are correct. Can you set a meter off again if you can? It sounded like a big scream. That was weird, that was down there. It sounded like footsteps as well behind you. Do you hear it? Yeah. Now it's on this bars. They are on the bars. It's bars, isn't it? Yeah. Like somebody's shaking these bars. Yeah. They don't even make that no, noise. No, they don't even make the noise. <laughs> Can you smack these again? Well, it could be causing the noise. Spirit? Residual energy? Who knows? Cloggy? Cloggy. Who knows? Should we go round? Yeah. See what the oven has just said. We're more clicky than as we're walking away. Laugh. Laugh. Who's laughing? God, looks like she is. Who's laughing? Talk to me. Tell me who's laughing. Is it you? Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah. 
front gate just pushed closed on me and I'm almost falling into the wall what the hell was that eat jeez just push back on me. I mean that's heavy. It doesn't there's a little bit of swing to it but it stops there. And that just got pushed into metal, yes it's metal. That's metal. Oh some something has got it in for me up here. And I think somehow it's her fifteen I don't know what you're talking about, 15. Just stand here, see what happens. Okay. Hmm? So I just lost complete balance then, because some of these is designed to make yeah. you mind mess, isn't it? Are you going to set any more REM pods off, Cloggy? Oh no. my god, it's Where's the same that? one Where's back that? round there. There isn't one round there, it's that one by the stairs. Oh <laughs> my god. Well, definitely, I think Beck's dealing with Chloe. I think you're right. Because every time we come away from it and ask uh, the question, yeah. is there anybody here, that goes off. That's who is coming and I think he's just... Part of this theme park. <laughs> yeah. And again. Yeah. Coggy, can you make it go off in three, two, one? Don't like being told what to do. <laughs> I, I think that's who it is, Max. He's going in visitation here. Yeah, I think you're right. Over from the ghost train. He's just yeah. visiting the, the theme park because don't forget, this would have been part of his. Hello. I heard a voice. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this would have been part of his. Yeah, I think you're right, and I think it's quite fun for him yeah, to come it, over and see people's reactions. It's a new attraction. It is, it is. Thank you, now we know who you are. Can yeah. you do something for us that's going to maybe scare us a little bit, maybe show yourself on camera, if we point the camera down there. Can you show yourself to us? The spiritual light. No, no way. way! Thank you! Ghost Dimension The Horror Crypt has more residing here than just its waxwork dummies. And we believe that there are multiple spirits haunting here. And tonight, we made contact with one of the most infamous ghosts haunting attractions at the Pleasure Beach. Cloggy.